Hi everyone, this is Dan. Welcome to Engelgeist. For those of you that are new, welcome. For those of you that are returning, welcome back. And for those of you that support me over on Patreon, thank you so very much for your subscriptions. This is the daily forecast for all signs. It is originally created for Tuesday, July 5th. It is not solely set for that date. If you're watching it on the date other than Tuesday the 5th, please feel free to utilize the reading, especially if it makes sense to a situation you're dealing with. If it doesn't make sense or it doesn't fit in your life, that's okay too. It may not be your reading. Don't worry, it doesn't mean you're off your path or you're not doing anything right or correct. Everything is fine. Take what you need and kind of leave the rest. For those of you that are new, please check out the drop-down menu. In there is house rules, things I want you to think about when utilizing my readings, how to contact me for a private reading, how to support the channel, things of that nature. Ways to support the channel very easily would be to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. I do put up daily content. Share the channel out on your social medias, the videos, stuff like that, or leave me a question or comment, especially if you're new, let me know that you're here. Uh, beyond that, what else do I need to say? I think that's it. Um, oh, you'll hear me refer to the Sunday underpinning energy. That is the video that populates in the lower left-hand corner at the end of this video. Feel, to free, feel free to watch it to get a better understanding of what I'm talking about. As you see cards, I'll be speaking about cards that you don't see in the reading. Okay, so let's see what's going on with today's cards. This deck is such crappy cardstock. It's really a bummer because I kind of like the deck a lot, but okay. We have the 10 of wands, stress, burden, and responsibility. So to me, the tens are always about the ending of a cycle, right? A completion of a cycle, moving from that 10 back into the one or the renewal of the ace, right? If we've been struggling, uh, and I think that we have because we still have that underpinning energy from the Sunday reading of the Five of Swords, if we've been struggling with someone, thoughts, communications, things that aren't necessarily working for us, this is an opportunity here to kind of free ourselves of the burden. It doesn't necessarily mean that we're completely, well, we might be completely free of the situation, but this is an opportunity to sort of step away from it, release it let it go. And it's a lightness of spirit that comes from this. To me, this card's a little bit depressing with the white ribbon around her. Um, but I don't feel like that's the case. Sometimes to me, the Ten of Wands is traditionally depicted by that man carrying that bundle of sticks on his back. It's like, we're almost there. We're almost at the finish line. Allow yourself to have this like sort of spiritual release in a way, right? And let it go. Um, so that you can be free and transform it, right? Um, there is that three of wands energy that's coming in. So this 10 of wands indicates, it almost feels like it's opening the door for that goldfish on the three of wands card that we saw in the Sunday reading. And that three of wands is, okay, how do we reset after dropping this 10? Does that make sense? Like once we reach this sort of completion, where and how do we... Um, want to reset. And that's that energy that's oncoming of the three of wands and that little sort of fish. Like, where does he want to be? How does he want to do it? What is it that we're, we're going to you know, put out there into the universe to help create? So now let's see what's going on with the white light. If some of us are feeling heaviness today because of this kind of wands, that's completely acceptable right? Allow yourself that grace. Be gentle with yourself. There is a gentleness to this card. If some of you are feeling that burden a little bit heavier, especially with the five of swords underneath there, remember swords is going to feed the wands. It's like air feeds fire. So if, if it feels a little bit intense today, um, just allow it to be that and give yourself that grace and that space to kind of let go, uh, drop the burden, let go of the responsibility and let it transform itself. Now, we have Aurora of Gamma, card number 27, which is a nine. Nines are about personal completion. I love how it looks like she's rising up into the light in her own personal knowing. I also love that she's naked in, uh, and covering her own breasts. So she's not fully, she's vulnerable, but not, she's also protective of herself. She's able to understand and create her own wisdom. I love that we look like, this looks like wand energy to me coming out of her hair or, or if it's as if it's flames. There's also like sort of, she's coming up out of the flames. She's giving me a little bit of a Phoenix from the flames vibe, like Sinead O'Connor, right? But she's connected to her higher self, her higher awareness, and she's present as she maybe releases these burdens. Nines are about personal completion, and the Ten of Wands would be about a completion of a uh, situation. So 
to me, there is this idea of like being gentle with ourselves and offering ourselves support from within and our own grace as we um, move out or um, complete a cycle with something on, on this day, right? Let me read you Aurora of Gamma. And she's card number 27. My lower back is killing me, guys. I'm doing these standing up because I'm not in my usual place. And it's just like, ugh. Okay. <laughs> hear my problems. I am woman. Hear my problems roar. Okay. Uh, Aurora of Gamma. It's time to let go of what has been. You are swiftly outgrowing your past. Explore and commit to a spiritual practice that supports your personal transformation so that you can cross the thr threshold before you now. Embrace your freedom to be creative in your pr approach rather than doggedly committing yourself to your previous ideas or plans. You have the spiritual intelligence necessary to evolve. Continue your healing journey with trust that a positive outcome is imminent. Aurora, the Roman goddess of the dawn, the bringer of light and initiatrix of a new cycle or chapter in your life, she is the luminous dispeller of darkness and flickering flame of hope in the heart that can burn into such a radiant holy fire that even the greatest challenges do not cause the soul to turn away in fear. Her presence in a reading signifies a fresh start in the overcoming of an old cycle. That would also be Ten of Wands energy, guys. Gamma waves are the hot are high frequency, typically 40 hertz in humans, but extending into higher levels in, with hypergamma oscillating at around 100 hertz. Associated with spiritual insight and clarity, pure vision and breakthrough awareness, the gamma state is associated with high level processing that leads to integration and evolution. With the gamma frequency, we transform knowledge into wisdom through application. We tap into our ability to integrate tr information and in doing so are truly healed and transformed. As the world around us becomes increasingly complex, the capacity for superior processing is swiftly becoming necessary for the spiritual, emotional, and psychological, and even physical well-being of humanity. There is a strong link between spiritual practices such as meditation and the production of gamma waves. We, when we experience a heightened state of spiritual awareness, an expansive sense of being, or a powerful connection with the universe or spirit, our brain is in gamma mode. Shifting our gray matter gears into gamma waves can facilitate the breaking up of, of stagnant, stagnant modes of thinking and behaving. That's the five of swords energy, guys. This is the sacred frequency of evolution. Humans who are stuck in patterns repeat the same stories, the same words, the same thoughts over and over again as though on a repeated loop. The soul can begin to wither within in such wither within such constriction. What is needed is something new and increasingly alive, such as the life-stimulating grace of, of encounters with the unfamiliar. Connection to gamma waves can enhance our capacity to embrace the unfamiliar, and through that openness of being, constructive adaptation is enhanced. Our way of being becomes more fluid, responsive, and creative. We engage with our experiences and grow positively through how we respond to what is happening. Aurora of Gamma indicates a shift into a new cycle, but also the growing presence of the light within, which is the creative light of spirit. Tuning into that light opens up options for living soulfully away from the grip of ignorance, no longer constantly ensnared by the compelling but ultimately fraudulent con conjurations of ego. Her new era is the inner transformation with positive external consequences. Trust in what your inner light is manifesting in your heart and in our world healing process. Settle into a comfortable position and consciously connect with your breath as it flows in and out. When you are ready, close your eyes and relax. Focus on your breath, allowing it to become deeper and slower, perhaps even with a slight pause after inhalation, with a slight pause after exhalation. As you relax, this pause may lengthen. Allow this to be natural and enforced. Your awareness can gently settle within the center of your brain. Let there be a soft light there, glowing, expanding, and bringing a sense of peace, openness, and relaxation into your brain. Rest here for as long as feels good. Ask, as your awareness gently settles within the center of your heart, let there be a soft light there, glowing, expanding, and bringing a sense of peace, openness, and relaxation into your heart. Rest here for as long as it feels good. Your awareness then gently settles within your lower belly. There is a soft light there glowing, expanding, and bringing a sense of peace, openness, and relaxation into your stomach, belly, and down your, to your colon. Rest here for as long as it feels good. 
These three lights align so that a soft bridge of light can form between them. The bridge rises, connecting the lower body to your heart and your heart to your brain. Let your awareness rest at the top of your head. Let there be light and stillness beneath any activity going on within or around you. Rest here for as long as you wish. When you're ready, bring your awareness back to the outer surfaces of your body and, flow of, and the flow of your breath. Take as much time as you need to ground yourself and hydrate your body. You have completed your healing process. So now let's go to the hidden truth. This is sort of our grounding card. And remember that our grounding card for the week was about how we connect to our feelings, right? So keeping that in mind, that's underpinning this. Finding that peace within. Do I still have a chance? I'm going to say yes. <laughs> you can transform this. You can make it happen. You can um, let go of the burden of whatever this heaviness is and transform it. Bring peace within. Oh, wow. As I said that, the, um, the I just looked at the clock on the video. It was 11.11. 11. Um, you can make this happen, but you have to like sort of go after it. You have to release the burden that it is and then almost reset through this um, this gamma wave piece that is within this aurora of gamma. Um, that is your forecast for the day, guys. I think I'm going to leave it there. Um, create that chance for yourself and make it happen. It's there for you. You just have to trust and release. That's the feeling that I get. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Please like the video, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and um, uh, please share it out. Leave me a question or comment if you're new and let me know that you're here. I would greatly appreciate it. And tell me if these re readings are resonating, if you're enjoying these decks. They're a little bit out there, but it is like I'm a little bit out there right now to myself being in a foreign country. <laughs> All right. So enjoy and have a wonderful day. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.